Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com. And for everyone watching, if you can share this video on my channel and help support the awesome bands I feature. And today I'm here with Shadow Assembly. How are you doing today? Good. You? Good, good. It's, it's great to have you. Great to be here. Now, you want to start off and give us a little history about the band and, and tell us how it all started? Sure. I, um, I have another project called Chronic Twilight that is basically um, up till now, it's been just me doing everything. Um, and I really, I've been looking for collaborators and, you know, so I can do co-writes and get out and meet other people in the scene and so forth and work with other people. Um, where I live here in Nashville, Tennessee, it's a musical graveyard, especially for goth. Um, so it, there's no one locally um, that I could work with. So I hit up Brandon Pivas uh, of Sensombre to see if he wanted to do a project and um, a side project. And um, he said, yeah. So that was the, that was the start of the first album. And then after that, um, basically he was, he got really busy with his band and I decided I wanted to work with as many singers as possible. So I just hit up people online and asked them if they wanted to do some co-writes. Awesome. Speaking of, I know the new album that just came out, you feature a lot of special guests. You want to tell us some of the guests you feature? Yeah, I've got uh, Ariel Maniki, uh, Nino Sable from Eon Sable. Um, uh, who else do I have? I, uh, you put me on the spot here. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to remember. Um, yeah, we've got, oh, and uh, Rod Hanna. And uh, of course, Brandon's on there again. Uh, and this time we had Vision from Tragic Black. So, I think that's really awesome, yeah, to feature everyone like that. Yeah, it's it was a fun album. It was painstaking, but it, now that it's out and I hear it, it's it's all worth it. So, and people seem yeah. to like it. Knock on wood. <laughs> Speaking of, you just released uh, another single. You want to tell us about that? Um. Oh, the my Ophelia. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was a song that I originally wrote to be a co-write, I wrote the music to it and I was hoping someone would come in and do vocals and lyrics. But um, it got to be late in the game and a couple people, this was back during when COVID first hit, um, people just didn't have either the time or the resources to work on music or the energy to work on music. Um, so I just finished it up myself and I, uh, had sent it to a few people and they're like, this, this is a pretty good song. And um, I thought, why not? Let's make a, a lyric video and see if people like it. So yeah, I like it. Seems to be faring well with DJs, knock on wood. <laughs> yeah. Now I want to ask, uh, can you tell us about um, going to more depth of the album? Tell us some of the themes and topics of the album. Yeah, there's not really any one particular theme. Um, I would say there's, it's, everything is naturally pretty dark themed. Um, in speaking from my own lyrics, I like Dr. Dealer is basically about my life with head meds up until a few years ago. Um, I would say um, there's a couple fun Themes like Beneath the Rose is kind of a fun goth, uh, dark theme. Um, Ariel's song is um, dark as well. But, I mean, there, yeah, there's really no one particular theme. But um, I thought everyone did a great job with the, the lyrics and, you know, filling out the music and making the, the lyrics um, fit the songs that I sent. Yeah, it's a great album. Thank you. So I want to ask, what got you into this uh, style of music, goth rock, to begin with, the goth music? 
I made a pact with the devil when I was 13. No, I, uh, <laughs> I, I basically, I, I grew up listening to, um, it started on progressive rock. That was kind of an influence that was around me at the time in the early 80s. Um, and then when I realized I loved progressive rock, but I didn't want to play progressive rock, I just started listening to other stuff. And we had, uh, back in my hometown in Burlington, Vermont, we had a uh, radio station, a college radio station, um, that played everything imaginable that you would never hear on commercial radio. And so there were several shows of um, punk and post-punk stuff that I used to really enjoy. Um, and so, I, I mean, it, it started with um, The Cure, then it went to Bauhaus, then it went to Christian Death, and all the, all the classics, I, that's how I got into them, was this weird little radio station coming out of the University of Vermont. Um, and I, it just, it's been a love of mine all of my life. Um, I do love to mix other, you know, incorporate other elements of music that I like. I think there's, there's some glam rock in there too, I think. Um, and when I say glam, I'm not talking Warrant. I'm talking more David Bowie and Roxy music, hopefully. But, uh, um, just want to just want to clarify that because a lot of people, when you say glam, they think hair metal. But um, so uh, yeah, I mean, I I just like to incorporate different stuff, and I I don't really when I come up with an instrumental, I don't necessarily have a vision for it completely. I just kind of start writing and putting pieces of the puzzle together, and hope that it comes out. Cool. Now, your area where you live, do you get some uh, golf events in your area sometimes? Yeah, we do have, well, we did before COVID. We had uh, a couple monthly golf nights. Um, I, Nashville's a very odd scene for golf. I don't get any local support from any of the DJs. Um, it is what it is. I guess they just don't like me or don't like my music, who knows? I, I don't know. But um, yeah, there are some events and, you know, it's great to go and dance and have some fun and hear really good music, really loud. But other than that, it's it's pretty quiet here. So uh, do you branch off to other areas then to get more support? Well, I, I just, yeah, I mean, putting myself online and I probably have more support and DJ airplay coming from Europe than the States, which is, you know, that's par for the course with this genre of music, I think. But, um, I, yeah, I just have to hit up people that are across the miles to both write with and to promote. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are you currently working on right now? Right now, I'm working on a couple new songs for Chronic Twilight. Uh, I've recently found a co-writer that I'm going to work with. He's a, a Kyle Andrew. He's a vocalist and a songwriter, and he's got a voice that blows mine away. So he's going to be on vocals where he belongs. Uh, but we've been working on some new songs that are coming along really well. Um, it, it's a little change in direction from what I was doing before, but um, it's still going to be dark and danceable and, and fun, hopefully. Um, but yeah, we've been do, uh, working on some songs for that, and I'm also doing a cover with Marcel Hodges. She and I have been going back and forth and talking about a cover, and we decided to cover Fantasy by Alda Nova, so that'll be uh, probably a new one-off Shadow Assembly single in it another month or two maybe cool now you had mentioned a little change of direction with the new music can you tell us a little about that yeah um kyle like myself loves a lot of glam rock um so we kind of i 
I don't think the new stuff is going to fall under a glam category, but it's definitely gothic glam. Um, it's a little more showy, uh, probably a little more adventurous musically. Um, I'm working on guitar solos that I've never attempted before, stuff like that. Um, because I don't really consider myself that good of a guitarist, but um, but I like the challenge of of just more musicality, more instrumentation, bigger sounds, um, and better vocals than mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you think your uh, future uh, music coming out, you'll feature more special guests like you did on the last album? Oh yeah, I I want to continue with Shadow Assembly and. Um, finding other people, maybe revisiting some of the people that were on the the album that just came out. But uh, there are other singers I definitely want to work with, and that'll hit up when the time is right. Um, as soon as I get some more demos recorded, um, I'm going to start hitting up other singers. I figure that if I can get a Shadow Assembly album album out, excuse me, once a year, that would that would be good, you know, as long as I'm working on Chronic Twilight as well. It's it keeps me keeps me sane to just have a couple releases per year. And has working on the music helped you get through the quarantine and lockdown time? Oh yeah. I when I first of course I was laid off of my day job back in April. Um so for a good three months before I start <clears throat> before I started working again, I was doing nothing but writing and recording and mixing and mastering. And I, I actually, I learned a lot about mixing and mastering in the past six months. And I was able to do most of it uh, myself with this last album, which took a huge weight off my shoulders. Um, and it's obviously, it's cheaper too when you do it yourself. So um, yeah, it's it's been, it's definitely been advantageous. Cool. Now, if people want to look you up online on social media, find your music, get your music, how do they do that? Uh, they can look up Chronic Twilight. Um, just Google Chronic Twilight or Shadow Assembly or just go to Bandcamp, shadowassembly.bandcamp.com, chronictwilight.bandcamp.com, um, or Michael Lewis on Facebook. Hit me up with a friend requests and I'm, I'm pretty easy to find cool so just all over the social media yeah yeah I want to ask are you gonna be releasing another single off the album I think so um, I'm not sure which one yet I've been talking to a couple of the, the vocalists about um, doing a video so it may come down to just one out of the two or both but um, I, Vision and I are thinking about doing a video for uh, Down With The Dead. It's, uh, it's getting a lot of uh, positive feedback, that song. So why not capitalize off it, you know? <laughs> well, well, I look forward to, forward to seeing that and what you have coming up. And it was good talk with you and everyone looking up. Same here. Appreciate it.